What is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another... I can't even say my full intro, because to be honest with you, I'm not hyped about this video. As you see from the title and the thumbnail, this is not a positive video, but this is me trying to take a negative situation and turn it into a positive by dropping a video for you guys. Now, this video actually wasn't supposed to drop until, I want to say Wednesday, um, but a lot of people who went to the meet um, and saw me get pulled over had been asking me what happened and I constantly keep getting DMs asking me what happened, why I got stopped, why I was sitting in the car for so long, what happened, what did the police officer say, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I thought I might as well just come on here real quick, tell you guys exactly what happened and then I'll go ahead and roll the clip. Um, well, start the video and you guys can see what happened from your, for your own eyes. But um, basically, me and a couple of the homies, um, Vega, Lester, Versatile, Versatile Speed, Jay, um, Vega's twin brother, David, Andre, we all decided we we're going to go to a bombshells meet in Pearland. So, um, originally I was supposed to meet up with the guys at 7 and then roll up to the spot. Um, so we could get a good parking spot, but my girl ended up wanting to go, and she didn't go off of work until 6.30. Pearland is about a 35 minute drive from my house. So, you, you see what I'm saying? It just, we didn't make it. So what we ended up doing was, I met up with Andre at a car wash, we washed the cars, then my girl got off of work, came back to the crib, picked her up, and then we went to the meet. Now. When we get to the meet, right, if you guys are from Houston or in the Houston area, you already know how bombshells meets get. They get stupid packed quick. Now, when we pulled in, Andre's behind me, we pulled in, did a whole circle around bombshells looking for parking, couldn't find parking. The way this bombshells is set up is bombshells is right here, then there's a hotel right here. And their parking lots are connected by a little strip going this way and that way. You do what I'm saying? So it's a one way road. Um, did a full circle around the bombshells and ended up on that little one way strip um, that connect that led to the hotel. Now, I was kind of debating on parking in the hotel because again, I know how bombshell meets get. The police pull up, they come out with like a whole bunch of cop cars and a whole bunch of police, whole bunch of undercovers, all of that. Just trying to get anybody and everybody they can pulled over. So, pulled into the hotel, right? Legit was doing a U-turn. I decided I'm not going to park there. I don't want any smoke. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no problems. If you know me, I do not like the police. I hate, like, dealing with situations with involving the police i hate getting pulled over you know what i mean you can you can take that how you want you know what i mean but at the end of the day if your color skin if your skin color matches mine i'm pretty sure you feel the same way so pull into the hotel right we're legit about to do a u-turn through the parking lot the parking lot of the hotel is literally a u so you can go ahead and make a U and then turn left and you'll be right back on that one way street going towards bombshells. That's exactly what I wanted to do. However, when I pulled into the hotel, right, I saw like four or five cops at the end of the little U-turn, literally in the middle. So you can't really go. So what did I do? I ended up pulling in a spot backing up and turning around andre was doing the same thing after i did the u-turn and was pulling away my girl was like oh babe that cop i think that cop was coming to your car i'm like for what you know what i'm saying i didn't do anything i was like nah he's probably not maybe he's going you know what i'm saying walking around or telling some other people because there were other people pulling up from the meet trying to park in the hotel so i'm thinking oh you know what i mean he's probably going to them gonna go talk to them tell them they can't park there blah 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 whatever the case may be it ain't got nothing to do with us right so get back on that one way strip head back to bombshells do another circle i end up finding a spot i parked the car cool 
We're there, you know what I'm saying, chilling, meet up with my boy Vega. We're talking, chopping it up. David, Vega, Vega's brother. We're all kicking and chopping it up in front of their cars. You know what I mean? So, like legit, I want to say like 10 minutes in to the car meet, dude goes on the mic and says, hey, the meet's canceled. You guys got to go. If you were here for the meet, you got to go. If you were here for food and you're eating and stuff like that okay you can stay but if you're here for the meet you gotta go once he says that i already see a whole bunch of police officers i again again i don't want no smoke so what do i do i say come on baby let's hop in the car let's go say do it to the guys you know what i'm saying dap everybody up whoop, whoop hop in the whip pulling out right legit there is a cop car the cop that pulled me over he legit parked his car in the grass <laughs> across the street from the exit so I might imagine there's a feeder there's a freeway there's grass in between the feeder and the freeway he parked he backed into the grass in front of the spot right in front of the exit anyway he parks over there and is kicking it over there waiting for nobody else but your boy J.I. Soon as I pull up to the exit, right? Mind you, I have my headlights and fog lights on red for the meat. I'm literally changing them to blue, leaving the meat, right? Before I can even pull out of the exit, dude cuts on his sirens and his lights and pulls me over right then and there. And this is what happened. How's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? I'm Officer Dorn with Paraline Police Department. Hey, the reason you're stopped today, you don't got a front plate on, and you had red lights emitting out the front of your headlights, okay? Yes, sir. Headlights gotta be, they gotta be white. I'm sorry, it was for the show purposes. I could change it on my phone. I know, but you went out on the street with it. Did you got your driver's license on you? Yes, sir. Oh. Joel, how old are you, man? I'm 21. Okay, gotcha. Man, you got an idea? Oh. I know, it's super obnoxious. Oh. Insurance on the vehicle? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, Joel, what's your what's your phone number, man? Nine one six. You got an email, Joel? At Yahoo.com. Oh, any period in between there? Um, just before the dot com. Okay. Nothing else. So just. Hey, Joel. Yeah. You're just gonna have it, man. So I'm, I'm gonna cut you out of here just because I want to get you off the road, okay? okay. I'll, I'll, out, of, out of the side of the road because it's not safe. Okay, you are gonna receive a citation for the, the red emitting from the headlights, okay? Okay. All right, I'm not gonna do anything about the no front plate, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do, sign here on this line. Above is your court date, September 29th, 2020. It's not saying you're guilty, it's just saying you're gonna show up in court, okay? If you wanna take care of it beforehand, that is possible. The instructions will be on the back of your copy, okay? Okay. And the address is gonna be up top in the upper left hand corner. Okay. Alright. So how much is the citation for? What's up? How much is it for? That I don't know, Joel. Joel, here's your copy. Like I said, if you want to take care of it beforehand, the instructions are on the back. 
If you have any questions, there's the phone number in the upper left-hand corner, okay? All right. Again, it's cool to have those lights, but you can't have them out on the street, all right? Joel, you got any questions for me? Joy? No. Okay, you guys ready to So there you have it guys, that's exactly what happened. Dude pulled me over, claimed that my headlights were red, but as you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail, I mean, as you guys can see in the thumbnail, headlights were definitely blue at the time. <laughs> so it is what it is, bro, you feel me? Like I'm not finna trip over spilled milk. One thing that I've learned um, from a lot of the incidents that we see nowadays in our generation um, involving people of color and the police, you know what I'm saying? You can't win on the street. The only place you can win is in the courtroom. And that's if, you know what I'm saying, you got the right lawyer, not no court-appointed bullshit-ass lawyer. You got your own lawyer. You got your shit straight, you got your paperwork straight, you done made a paper trail and all of that. That's the only way you're going to win. So this right here, this is my paper trail. I had my boy Andre and my boy Vega take pictures of my car while I was getting pulled over, as you guys saw, for the thumbnail. But not just for the thumbnail, also to prove that my freaking headlights was blue, not red. The whole reason why he pulled me over is because he said my headlights were red on the street. They were not. Anyway, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? As you guys saw, he took my girl's ID, like all of the extra stuff. And some of the stuff that you guys didn't see was he was basically walking back and forth from my car um, to my, like, from the front end of my car to the window, trying to, like, see if he could find something else wrong with the car. Really and truly dude was like looking for something, looking for a reason, you know what I'm saying? To try to give me a ticket or whatever the case may be. Like he already had his mindset, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I realized quite quickly. Um, and it is what it is, you know what I mean? Without further ado, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. You turn on those post notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section down below. And just stay tuned, man, because I may or may have not just bought some long tube headers for Mamba. Let's get it.